Hey guys, so I'm currently sat at a parking lot right now outside of a hotel. I just had to drop my daughter off because she's doing some school state testing, whatever nonsense it is. And I have to pick her up later. So I have about five hours to spare. So I figured, you know what? Probably the best thing I could do, you know, in this long period of time is maybe check out some stores that are nearby. And I got quite a big selection of them. I don't know which ones I'm gonna get to in this video, but I mean, we'll see. I know for most of them, there aren't any major sales going on. So, you know, I, I don't really like to, to pay full price for things, but you know what? Let's just go hang out. Let's check out and see what they have. And if something sparks my fancy, maybe I'll pick it up. So anyways, guys, let me get out of this parking lot because I'm starting to roast in this car and let, let's see what the day brings us. All right, let's move on. All right, so as expected, there are no sales going on right now, but I wanted to come anyways and see if there were any images like the Clementoni or the pomegranate that I was trying to look for last time and you know if if we find anything we'll see maybe i might you know splurge a little bit i don't know yet but anyways let's see if there's anything new here i'm not gonna i'm gonna do my best to not show what i showed last time but let's see what they got now barnes and nobles tends to be a little bit on the pricier side so as i said you know we'll take a look and see if there's anything new here oh this one's interesting this is i love my hair this is a Gaussian puzzle. It's a 500 piece. That's fun. I like the colors on that one. And then we have again these little puzzle sets in like the book packaging. This is really cool. Oh, this is interesting. I don't think I remember seeing this last time. This is called Exit the Game, the Sacred Temple. It includes four puzzles in it. This is by Cosmos. That's interesting. Oh, it looks like we got a full blown game here as well. This is interesting. The escape room game you can play at home. Very interesting. How much is this? This is $27.99. That's, that's kind of up there. Oh, look, they have another one here. The deserted lighthouse. Ooh, that's spooky. You know how I am about lighthouses, but I don't think I want it to be a spooky lighthouse. Oh, look at that one. Nightfall Manor. Okay, I know I just said I'm not into spooky, but I mean, this is amazing. I would want to live in there. Vladimir Victor Ivan... Fatty Sven. Interesting. This might be something I may have to pick up in the future and try out. I still have one of those Robinsberger, I think they're in the escape puzzles at home, but I haven't tried it yet. So I don't know how I'll feel to that kind of style of puzzle, but you know, we'll see right in due time. Oh, look at this one. I don't remember if we saw this last time, but this packaging is in the shape of a camera. It's like a tin, too. This is a Euro Graphics 550 piece puzzle. Oh, that's the image back there. It's all about cameras and whatnot. So if you're into photography, you know, this is the puzzle for you. This is $24.99. Oh, and look at this one here. We've got kind of the same style, but this is like a cassette player. Oh, wow, it has the buttons, too. It's another 550 piece set from Euro Graphics. And it's a bunch of cassette tapes. Uh, I remember having a cassette player back in the day and recording music on cassettes. Fun times. We also got our puzzle accessories here, sorting trays. And we have, this is new. I don't remember this, seeing this last time. This is Glue and Go from Robinsberger. Seals two 1,000 piece puzzles. Really? That seems like a small bottle, but you know, if it says, I guess it's true. Okay, we have these crystal puzzles here, which I'm pretty sure I showed you the last time. And if you haven't seen that video, I'm going to leave a link to that down below so that you can check out that shopping trip. But yeah, we have a ton of them again. A Snoopy, a squirrel, penguin, panda, and the baby. Some pretty flowers. And let's see, I'm just trying to spot anything different here. Honestly, I don't remember what we already saw. It's been a while since I've been here. But that's okay. I'll do my best. So here is the Clementoni. Now, I don't remember if this is the same one I saw last time. I just hope. Do they have any other images here? Why is this so limited? This is Barnes and Nobles, man. Look at all these puzzles. You mean to tell me there's not another Clementoni in this, in this bunch? 
that's not Clementoni. This is the periodic table of elements, which gives me nightmares about high school. I'm not gonna lie, I did not like science class. But yeah, this is the only image I'm seeing so far. And it's not bad, don't get me wrong. It's gorgeous. I don't mind being shot here on the sand, you know, taking in the sunset. But you know, I kind of want to see if there's anything else. I must say though, Barnes and Nobles does carry a great selection of Gallison puzzles. I mean, I still have yet to try my Gallison that I bought from Hobby Lobby the last time. And it's one of these, these fancier sets. So before I get more of those, I definitely want to try try it out and see what I think to the brand but I don't think I have you know I should at some point pick up a 500 piece from that brand and check that out as well oh check this out this is a truffle I don't think I remember seeing this last time I was here but look at that image that sky is amazing and it looks like it'll be a nightmare to put together but this is a sea truffle says they have unlimited fit technology what does that mean who knows Smart puzzle cut and thickest puzzle. Oh, question is, will it hold? This is the Eiffel Tower, and what's the price on this? What the heck, do I need new glasses? I can't seem to find the price on this. You guys probably see it and probably are like, look, it's right there, and my absent-minded self can't seem to find it anywhere. But anyways, this looks like it's, you know, up there in price. We got a lot on the back here talking about the quality, so... This may be interesting to try out at some point. Again, I'll say it, the Gallison images are so fantastic. Look how fun this looks. This is beautiful. This is 1,000 pieces. It's called Book World. And that's just amazing. That looked like it'll be fun to complete. Well, what else we got? I think we saw this one last time. This is another Gallison set. What's that? Oh, guys, check this out. This is pomegranate. Oh, wow. This was not here last time. This one's called At the Japanese Garden. It's an art piece puzzle from Pomegranate. This is 1,000 pieces and this is gorgeous. This is $22.95. Not too bad. I don't know. I'll have to think about that. I do like the image, but I don't know. I wish I was here while there was a sale going on because I'm just not feeling paying full price for anything nowadays. Can you blame me? Oh look, we got another pomegranate here. This is a 500 count set. The quest for knowledge. That is interesting. And these 500 count sets are $18.95. Wow, oh look, there's another one back here. We got a 300 count set called Fairies. That is very nice. And how much are these here? These are $17.95. They're a buck cheaper than the 500 piece. You might as well go all the way and get the 500 if you want some puzzle time. But that's a nice image. Wow, this is interesting. So this means that when I do my, um, my pomegranate review, I'm going to do my best to get one of each piece count and compare the three of them. Mm, the only thing is, I... I really don't want to spend that kind of money today, to be honest. It, this this is going to be like $60 in just three puzzles. And I don't know. Let's see if there's more around here. We got to keep our eyes peeled. We have a, we have more of these World of puzzles here. And as you can see, they have them all laid out quite nicely as well. Looking at where this was produced, and this is a China puzzle. But this was in 2024, and one of you was mentioned that the China versions of these World of Puzzles are actually much better than the older China puzzles. Again, these are the Lawrence King ones. So this is interesting. I want to see what the other ones are dated, what the dates are on the other ones, and see, you know, at some point picking one of those up and doing like a full comparison of the three different versions. We got this New Yorker puzzle here. I don't remember if we saw this last time, but this is a field trip. I love field trips. New York. We got a dog chilling out here, you know, with a big mess around him. I don't know what's going on in this image. I think we saw this one last time. That's the same going on there. Oh, it's this. This is Art in 800 Pieces, Disco Moonlight. Artist is Katie Smith, and this is quite a box. This is a big box. What's the brand on this? Hi, we're Jiggy. I guess the brand is Jiggy? I guess. 
designed in Brooklyn. Look guys, we got another common Tony here. This is a 1500 count set. This is beautiful. This is $28.99. It's Paris, Montmartre. Montmartre? Mont I don't know, something like that. Forgive me for mispronouncing that, but anyways, it's Paris, and this is a very nice image. 1500 count, that's a, that's a big one. Not sure if I'm ready to try something that high from a brand I haven't done before, but yeah, that is a, that is a thought. We have another one of these Truffle Primes. This is a beautiful image of Germany. It's 1,000 pieces. And I still can't seem to find the price on these. What's going on here? Maybe it's a surprise when you ring it up. Who knows? Again, we have more of these World Up puzzles. Now I'm super curious to like check the back of all of these and see where they were produced. This is a China puzzle from 2023. The Agatha Christie Frankenstein. Let's see Frankenstein. Was that another Netherlands piece? This is a Netherlands one. So I, I know that when I try this, this is going to be amazing. The World of Great Gatsby. That is some, that's some crazy stuff going on in that image. That looks like fun. You are made in China. What's the year on that? 2024. So this might be a better version of the, the China puzzles. What about Charles Dickens? Let's see here. 2021 China. This is interesting. I still don't know why Lawrence King has some of their puzzle images produced in different places. This is a 2022 China puzzle. This is interesting. And it's a shame really because I really would have liked to have the same experience with all my Lawrence King puzzles. This is 2023 China as well. Again, you know, we need to we need to compare these and see what works and what doesn't. You know, what's what's worth spending your money on? All right, I need to get up from the floor. My knees hurt. We know that was a big two thumbs up. From my experience, what else do we got here? This is a Remarks puzzle of Bavaria. 1,000 pieces. That's nice. Oh, look, we got a... Oh, wait a minute. This is my kind of image. Hmm. You know what this place is, though, right? This one is called Morning Main Lighthouse. Actually, this one should be called Mandy's Morning Lighthouse. This is gorgeous. You know I'm in there somewhere especially with the sun coming up. I mean, I'm gonna be having my coffee at the window somewhere, or maybe at the top of my lighthouse, who knows? I have options, there's tons of windows and tons of areas for me to sit and chill out. This is great, how much is this one again? $14.99, that's not bad actually. I, I think I'd be willing to pay that much for a 500 count Kellam and Tony. This, this is a possibility, this is, this is good stuff so far. Oh, that's nice, what is this? Did I see this last time? Is this Coney Island? It's $24.99. Oh, this is a Gallison. That's nice. Oh, wait a minute. I just looked up and there's a bunch of Clementoni up there. Looks like they're 500 count pieces. I don't know if I could reach them though. Let's see what I can do without making a mess. Okay, I was able to grab this one. This is a beautiful, colorful image. Look at that. Magical sunrise. This is gorgeous. Ooh. And then we have this one here, which is Van Gogh's Starry Night. That is nice. Though I feel like this image would make me want to pull my hair out after a while. It's, it's beautiful though, but I don't know. Let's see what else do we have here. Oh, I'm trying not to make a mess. Uh, all right, we have 1,000 piece here. This is Dusk in Monaro Monarola. That's a nice image. Look at that. Wow. Look at that sky. That looks hard. The water looks like it'll be hard too. Actually, the whole thing looks like it'll be hard. Look at all those buildings. Okay, 1,000 pieces, $16.99, which is not bad. I wonder if there's any more 1,000 piece puzzles here from Clementoni. This is looking promising. Oh, my arm's gonna fall off. What is this one? We have Egypt. This is a 500 count puzzle. And this one is $14.99 as well. That's nice. Look at that. 
It's more like a painting of Egypt. That's beautiful. I must say though, guys, I'm still thinking about this one. But you know what? Let's see what else we can find. I'm, I'm very happy that I came in the end because, as I said, the last time I was here, there weren't many of the Clementoni or the pomegranates. So let's hope that they got some pomegranates here. Let's see what else we could find. Found another Clementoni. Wait a minute. Is that the same one? No, it's not the same one. Wait a minute. I'm confused. I feel like I... I'm so confused. Wait a minute. Is that the same house? but from the opposite direction? Wait a minute, this might be. Look at that, they took way too many pictures of my lighthouse, this is this is rude. But anyways, mm, I got options now. Gotta figure out which one is prettier. Oh, I see another 1,000 piece Clementoni. Why do they put these so high up on the shelves? How am I supposed to reach these? Excuse the camera angles, guys. We have this one here. I think I saw this one already, wait a minute. I'm getting confused now. I'm getting too overstimulated. Lighting Venice. No, I didn't see this one. That's beautiful. This is a 1,000 piece Clementoni. It's $16.99. Again, not a bad price. I see another one up there. Let's see if I can actually reach it. Oh my God, I think I pulled a neck muscle trying to get this one. But look at this one. This is gorgeous. This is 500 pieces as well. And this one is called Bra Brace Lake? Why is always a name I can't pronounce? What the heck, man? Oh, but anyways, this is absolutely gorgeous. Look at my boat. My boat's waiting for me to come down those steps and take a little ride out into the water. What a beautiful day. This is nice. This is also 500 pieces. Oh boy, guys, we got, we got options today. Oh, this is exciting. I love having options. All right. We saw this pomegranate puzzle the last time we were here, but I'm not finding so far any other different puzzles here. We have these truffles again. I We did not have these the last time we were here. So this is nice. I hope they pull out more of these because I'd be i be interested in trying um, a truffle puzzle before I get into the other truffle that I have at home, which is 9,000 pieces, which, you know, I think I need to go a little smaller count with my first experience with that, just to, you know, get a feel before I hit that 9,000 one. So yeah, th that would be probably a good option. Oh, look at this one, this is a lot of stuff. A lot of words going on here. The Shakespearean insults, oh my goodness. Definitely a puzzle you wanna work on when you're in a bad mood, I guess, right? How much is this one? And what brand is it? This is, I'm guessing, the Unemployed Philosopher's Guide? Guild, even? Oh god, I can't read. Sorry. This is 1995. And that's interesting. I don't think I saw this last time we were here. We got an anime-looking puzzle there. That's cool. That's 500 pieces. This is Chainsaw Man, apparently. Where's his chainsaw? I don't see a chainsaw. Wait a minute. I'm confused. Anyways, this one is... This one is free? I don't see the price tag on it. I'm pretty sure it's not free. Don't quote me on that. It's worth something. Oh, we have another one of these um, Philosopher's Guild puzzles. This is Jane Austen, Jane Austen's literary lines. These are not insults. This is you do this one when you're in a good mood. And that's also 1995. That's fine. Oh look, wait, there's another one here. Great first lines of literature. Interesting. That's a lot of a lot of words going on. I don't know how I how I'd feel about completing something like that. This is pretty. Look at this one. I don't remember if we saw this the last time we were here, but this is a Gallison. Again, the artwork is amazing. Springtime in Paris. Love it. $17.99. This is fantastic. Oh my god, nobody has a face. What's going on here? Are they all like that? I don't remember now. But anyways, sure, lots of fun in the end, anyways. Oh, look at this Evie puzzle. I don't remember if we saw this last time, but I absolutely love that image. That's fun. The Ebu's here at Barnes & Noble's for the 1,000 piece count sets of $21.99. A little splurgy splurge. Again, that's the truffle one we saw. There's the 1,500 count Clementoni. I'm trying to see if there's anything else I'm missing here. I think we've pretty much seen everything on this side before. What's this? This is 
lantern press. I don't remember if we saw this the last time we were here, but this is a 1,000 piece puzzle. Look at those flowers. That's beautiful artwork. This one is $25. This is 25. This has a reference poster, perfect interlocking fit, high quality puzzle board, linen paper on matte. It's a matte image, that's good. So you shouldn't have any glare issues with this. That's nice. Do they have any more images? No, doesn't look like it. Same thing. We saw that one last time. That's beautiful as well. If you love tea time, I think that's a Gallison. And again, I'll say it for the millionth time, Gallison has some fantastic looking images. Oh, what's this one? Look at this, guys. This is a this is a long box. This must be a panorama. Panoramic puzzle. Yeah, it is. It's pretty heavy too. These are national. Oh my god, this is actually really heavy. <laughs> Let me put it back on the shelf before I look silly in front of other people. But that's not a park I'd probably want to visit. That's especially if it's doing that, that's not a good sign. This is $25. This is 1,000 pieces and it's 39 by 14 inches. That's really cool though. I like it. That's the only one I see of that kind here. Um, now let's look on this side of the puzzle section and see if we got anything new going on here. Yeah, but before we do that, I just saw something we didn't see last time. Look at this 500 piece puzzle. Looks like he's thinking really hard about what shape he's gonna paint next. He needs to paint his room. His room is very blah looking. He needs some color. Some color in his space. This is a Max Dalton Artist Studio series. And there's three puzzles to collect to the collection. It's $24.99. That's interesting. Oh look, we got another one back here. Look at that one. That's cute. What is this one called? Klimt? Is that the name of the puzzle? I could be wrong. Don't put me on that. Oh gosh. Tragedy. I'm making a mess. Help. Alright, we're good now. Here's another one from that same brand. I like this image better, actually. This is a nicer, nicer image. Look at that guy. He's doing an amazing job painting that, that bridge. This is Monet. It's another 500 count set. This is cool. Oh, I think I understand what the series is all about. It's it's the artist, the artist's name. He, he painted the artist painting. Oh, I don't know why that took me a while to figure out, but we all know how absent-minded I can be, so, you know, it's okay. And I'm just taking a quick glimpse here of the Disney Ravensburger sets. They're pretty much the same puzzles that we saw last time. From what I am seeing, we got Karen puzzles up there. I like that one, actually. I'll probably get that at some point, but let's see. These are all pretty much looking the same here. Check out that Karen one. I have that one at home. And I'm still contemplating whether this is gonna be my first 3000 count puzzle for my challenge video, or if I'm gonna end up ordering a Disney 300 count set. Not sure yet. If you guys wanna leave your opinion down below on what you think I should do, um, yeah, let me know because I'm, I'm still going back and forth on it. I kind of want to keep the, the tradition of doing a Disney puzzle for my big count challenge sets, but we'll see. Who knows? Maybe I'll change it up. I don't know. I'm, I'm still feeling Disney though. We saw this one last time. These are 1500 count sets. Uh, what's the name of this one? This is Romance and Cinque Terre. Yeah, we did see that last time. Look at this, guys. This is gorgeous. Let's go on a camping trip. But we have a bunch of animals infesting the campsite. This is not good. Please don't eat my food. But if you never mind the animals, I mean, look at the scenery. Oh, he better be careful. He might fall. This is gorgeous. How much is this one? This is $33.99. This one's called Canyon Camping. That is up there in press. But it's beautiful. We got that one there as well. I think we saw that the last time. That's a 1500 count set. I'm pretty sure we saw this last time. I haven't tried their 300 count set. I'll probably have to pick that up at some point and compare them to the 500 and the 1000 counts. I kind of like to see what all the different qualities are like between those sets. 
We got a panoramic image from Clementoni. I think we saw this last time. I don't know. And we got a lot of wild dogs going a bit crazy there. This is another Ravensburger 1000 piece set. Let's see, what is that one called in case anyone's interested in picking this up? The dog walker. Where's the walker? Oh, there he is. And really, everything else seems to be pretty much the same. It's not much different on this shelf, aside from this one. Isn't this isn't this Karen's new puzzle? They have it in the 1,000 count here. It's $24.99. Colors and colors. Yeah, this is her new one. Interesting. Yeah, so that's pretty much the only thing new in this section of the puzzle area. But I may have to try that at some point as well. So yeah. That's that's what I see new here so far. All right, so I'm glad they have more Clementoni sets here. I'm probably gonna pick one up. Again, they're full price, but you know what? I might as well, right? I did get a YouTube check recently, so thank you guys again for watching and liking and commenting on my videos. With that, I who knows? Maybe I just might splurge a little bit today with with no sales going on. But you know what? That's okay. That's what that money is there for. So you know what? I'm going to probably check to see if there is a clearance section here anywhere because I know some of you did mention that Barnes & Noble's tends to have clearance tables with puzzles on it. So I'm going to go take a quick peek of that, see if that actually does exist in this location. But yeah, let me, let me see that, see if that exists first, and then I'll come back and probably make a decision if I pick anything up for here. So, all right, let's move on. Well, in my search for clearance puzzles, I did see an area with some more puzzles. So check this one out. This is gorgeous. This is a 1,000 piece Gallison set and it's the United States, but in flowers. This is gorgeous. USA State flowers. Oh, interesting. That's cool. And we have this one here as well of the whole world. Full bloom. These are $16.99. That's not too bad. That's beautiful, actually. We also have a mud puppy set here with a bunch of butterflies. That's 500 pieces. Butterflies of North America. That's purred. We've seen this dog park one before by Gallison. And then we have these puzzles here. These are from Piecework, Piecework Puzzles. Type A. What image is this? Looks like a bunch of school supplies. That's fun. How much are these? These are, whoa, $38. Oh my goodness. That's a, that's a price. It makes me wonder how good these are. I'm going to have to try it at some point. Not today, but you know, you know. Anyways, this one is a strawberry affair. And oh my gosh, look at all that. That looks delicious. I'm starting to get hungry. I'm going to need to get some lunch soon. What else we have here? This is an Ebu set. I think we've seen this one before. We have. This is the Alchemist cabinet 1000 piece set. And look at this one here. This is gorgeous, and the box is actually textured as well. This is a beautiful box. This is Skybird Birds of Happiness 1000 piece puzzle. What's the brand? It looks like the brand is Paper Blanks. Interesting. This is a beautiful set. How much was this again? I don't see a price on it, so who knows? It might be expensive. I don't know. I'm not making assumptions here. Look at this one. This is a Robinsberger 1000 piece set of a bunch of owls in the middle of nowhere. Songs of Extinct Birds. Oh, that makes sense, doesn't it? Interesting. We have this city in Four Seasons by Michael Storings. This has to be a Gallison. This is one of those book book packaging. This is $24.99. Yep, Gallison. Oh, I love these images. They're so gorgeous. We have this here. Cinque Terra. 1,000 piece puzzle. This is Grey Malin. Is that the artist or the brand? I don't know, but it's $24.99 and it's a Gallison. That was not the brand name. Gallison is the brand. We have Mosaic Succulents here, another Gallison set for, with 500 pieces. And this is a gold foil puzzle. Look at that. That is cool. That's $15.99. Not bad. We have this 300 piece Robin's Burger set here of owls. These are large pieces. I'm going to have to try a 300 piece Robin's Burger at some point and see um, how those pieces are. What's the price? I can't find the price again. Anyways, look at this one here. This is um, quite strange. 
in my opinion. We have a bunch of cats out in space. I really don't know what's going on here, but it's a 1,000 piece puzzle by the company Fred. I think that's what that is. This is called Galaxy Cats and it's $22. Very interesting. That's a, that's a interesting image. Got some more Robinsberger sets here, 500 count. That's beautiful. You know that's me hanging out in that hammock, staring at the beautiful ocean. That looks like fun. I don't know whose dog that is though. I don't know why I keep having random dogs around me. It's very strange. We got a 750 piece set here. This one is called Romantic Sunset. That is beautiful. Look at that. I don't think I told you the name of this one. What's this one in case you are interested? This is Cozy Cabana. Oh yeah. And then this one. Oh, this one looks super cozy as well. I think we saw this one last time. This is a 500 count set with large pieces. This one is called Dream Library. Oh my God, I wish I had a room that looked like this. Except with, instead of all of it being books, I want it to be like half books, half puzzles. I think that'll, that's a good, good way to have it set up. Check out this 3000 count Robinsberger set. This is beautiful. We got a lot going on here. What is this one called? This one is, oh gosh, it's heavy. This is Garden of Sun Science and it is $49.99. Wow, that is, that's up there. That's a splurge. We have Jane Austen again. We have another Gallison with the flowers. This one is from Toy, Toy Ink Originals, 8-Bit Armageddon, 1,000 piece puzzle. That's a, that's a lot. Oh, these are video games. It's all video games, nostalgic ones too. This is $19.99, that's fun. Look at that. I see a lot of classics in there that I used to play. Fun. And then we have kind of the same style. This one's called Let's Play a Game. And it's PlayStation games. Oh, wow. This is awesome. My brother would love a poster or something to that effect. Not a puzzle. He's not a puzzler. He's a, he's a big gamer. But yeah, he would like something like that. This is Tons and Tons of Roses by Gallison. These are English Roses, 1,000 piece. Oh, this is fun. This is from the USA Jigsaw Nationals from 2024. So most of you probably know this one. This is Sweet Street. It's $29.99. Ah, oh, 1,000 pieces. Interesting. Let me know down below if you guys tried this one. I'm going to be honest. I don't really follow the, the Jigsaw Nationals. I probably should so that, you know, I can keep up to date with that because who knows, maybe one day I might think I'm real top-notch puzzler or something and want to want to join at some point. Probably not. I probably feel miserably, but you never know, right? I like this one. This is gorgeous. I love the colors. This, of course, is another Gallison. They have amazing images. This is the French Riviera 1000 piece set. That is, that's gorgeous. I love this. $17.99. This is a Remarks puzzle, Year of the Dragon, 500 large pieces. Look at him, he's cute. I love his room as well. Oh, you know, that's my house, my castle in the background. He's planning to visit me a little later. How much are you? This is $19.99. That's fun, I like that one. Oh, I love this Gallison as well. Look at this one, this is beautiful. This is Beside the Sea, 500 pieces. That's gorgeous. I'm pretty sure soon you'll see me walking down this block here and you know probably head into the ice cream shop and then have some tea afterwards you never know right okay we have this one by van ryder games this one says garden guest i'm guessing that's the name of the puzzle as well but this is 40 dollars holy macaroni holy moly but this looks like it's a game this is not even a puzzle now that I think about it. I'm on to the game section now, silly me. Anyways, guys, um, that's it for this section. I don't think there's any clearance table here, but I'm going to keep looking and see what I can see. But anyways, let's move on. Uh, what is it about Barnes & Nobles? Every time I walk in there, it's just so nostalgic. They all smell the same, which I absolutely love. But anyways, enough about Barnes & Nobles. Um, I'm trying to figure out now what other store I can head to. Because again, as I said, I know there's no sales going on anywhere. Um, 
but I mean to be honest that didn't really stop me at Barnes and Noble so you know there'll be a little a little little haul at the end of this just a small one though because again everything was full price but I couldn't pass up a couple of them so you know what let's see uh yeah I don't know where to go right now yeah let's just see where the wind takes me all right so I'm not really sure if I remember correctly, if I mentioned earlier in the video that, you know, there weren't many, there weren't any sales going on really. So, you know, I probably wasn't going to get much if I were to get anything, but you, know, I caved. And it's funny because I did pick up a couple of sets during that shopping trips and Barnes and Nobles that you saw, but I actually went back the next day because I was in the same town again and I ended up buying more. But you know what? That's okay. Because once again, this was all made possible by you guys. You watching the videos, leaving comments, likes, and all that. I got another YouTube check. So, you know, I figured, why not go on a little splurge? I couldn't help myself. As I said, I caved. But anyways, the first puzzle that I am going to show you, and I mean, this is probably no surprise, but of course, I picked up a Clementoni set. And this is the 500 piece puzzle. It's called Moonlight Main Lighthouse or Mandy's Morning Lighthouse, whichever one. And it is 19 and a third by 14 and one fifth inches when it's completed. And this one was $14.99, which I didn't think was too bad, honestly. And you know why I picked this puzzle, right? I mean, this is no surprise here because you know me and my lighthouses. I always wanted a lighthouse. As a matter of fact, I think I have about 50 properties by now. But anyways, this image is spectacular. As I said during the trip, I could totally see myself having a cup of coffee, looking out my window, one of my windows. I don't know, there's tons of them. I have a lighthouse and it looks like it's gonna be such a beautiful morning to just do absolutely nothing. This image was an instant yes for me. And you know, again, I'm so glad that Barnes and Nobles had a much better selection of these puzzles from these brands. So yeah, I can't wait to work on this one. Also the fact that it's 500 pieces, you know, I mean, I was gonna say my, it's gonna be good quick fun, but looking at the sky right now, I don't know, I may be, I might be jumping to conclusions here. But anyways, for the next puzzle that I picked up is another Clementoni, but this is one of their 1000 piece puzzles. And this one is called Lighting Venice. And it's 19 and two thirds by 27 and one fifth inches when it's completed. And I paid $16.99 for this one, which to me was a pretty good deal considering that, you know, it was only two bucks more than a 500 piece puzzle. You know, I bought both of them in the end because, you know, I want to do a comparison between, you know, the quality and experiences of the two piece counts. So yeah, I'm, I'm super looking forward to this brand. And once again, this image was another easy yes. I love Venice. I've only ever been there once, but who says I can't visit it again through my puzzle scenes, you know? You see that guy in the gondola there? He's heading up to the front of my house so that he could pick me up for my morning rounds. There's nothing better than a gondola ride under this beautiful sky. It also looks like it's gonna be quite challenging as well because look at that sky. I mean, that seems like it's going to be pretty tough. And, and the water as well. I think overall it's really going to be quite an interesting experience. Hopefully not a hair pulling one. But, you know, then again, with the scene like this, you know, it, it'll, it'll help motivate me to get it done. So, as I said, I picked those up that day of the shopping trip that you saw. But the day that I went back which was pretty much the next day because that night I was having major regrets that I, I didn't buy it at that time. So, you know, I went back and I had to pick the other ones up here because not only did they have a pretty darn good selection there, but they had three different piece counts from that same brand. And the first one that I'm going to show you, well, the brand that I'm talking about here is Pomegranate. And this one is called Fairies. The artist is Michael Haig, I think, I'm sorry. It's 300 pieces and it's 24 by 18 inches when it's completed. And this one I paid $17.95 for. And to be quite honest, this is not a typical puzzle image that I would buy, but 
I, I thought it was still very pretty. I love the flowers. I love how it's not a very vibrant image. It almost seems like an old fairy tale storybook looking illustration. It just seems, it just looks very serene to me. But I'm really trying to, you know, get used to buying different puzzle images, ones that I don't typically work on because I'm starting to notice with the ones that I have tried that aren't my typical ones, I'm really having a lot of fun with them. So I'd be interested to see what I think to this. And it's only 300 pieces. So, you know, I'm thinking it's gonna be some good quick fun, but who knows, the, the, image, is, the image looks quite interesting. We got quite a bit going on here in every section. So we shall see. So yeah, that is the 300 count set. And then I figured, you know what? They, they had the 500 count. So you know what? Why not pick that up as well? And this one is called The Quest for Knowledge. The artist is unknown. It is 500 pieces and it's 24 by 18 inches when it's completed. And I paid $18.95 for this one. And again, another image that I wouldn't typically gravitate towards. But I love the use of colors. I love the illustration. I mean, now that I think about it, look, we got a little town in the back. I'm pretty sure that's my house back there, right in front of the lake. This looks beautiful. I'm not too sure what's happening with this man on the side here, but you know, I I'm sure he's going to be all right. The back of the box does have a little information on what looks to be the history of this illustration, but we'll get into that more when I actually work on this puzzle. Um, I'm super interested to try this. This image kind of looks like it's going to be pretty straightforward. And with it being 500 pieces, who knows? It might be quick fun. But don't quote me on that and say, you know, get mad at me when I'm pulling my hair out in the other videos when I'm actually working on them and they're taking me years to complete. But you know what? Let's just move on. I'm, I'm starting to ramble. But anyways, the last puzzle that I picked up from Barnes & Nobles is another pomegranate. And this 1000 piece set was $22.95. And this one is called At the Japanese Garden. The artist is CJ Hurley and it's 25 by 20 inches when it's completed. And this image is great. When I saw it the first time, I, I, I transport it. I'm in here because what's more relaxing than sitting or strolling through a Japanese garden? I would love to take a walk through a place like this during my lunch break or something or when the family's driving me a bit crazy and you know, you need a break every now and then. But anyways, I absolutely love the illustration. This artwork is fantastic. I love the colors. They're very vibrant. This is absolutely beautiful. I can't, I honestly, I think of the three, I, I think I'm most excited to work on this one because this is just, this is gorgeous. And again, the back of this box has a little bit of information on the artwork and the artist. Now that I'm looking at these three boxes, it looks like these are from Pomegranate's art piece puzzle collection, which makes sense. These are all, you know, artwork pieces, but I am super looking forward to working on a video comparing these three experiences. Honestly, at this point, I don't know which one I want to work on first. I don't know if I'm going to do Pomegranate first or the Clementoni sets. All I know is, is that I got a, I got a lot of puzzle time ahead of me. But you know, if any of you wanna let me know down below what you're most excited to see me work on first, let me know. So the total of my first Barnes & Noble's trip was, for the two Clementoni sets, it was $33.90, which is okay. You know, it's like, the, this is supposed to be high quality stuff here. So, you know, I didn't feel too bad about spending the money on that. So the total for my, you know, my second trip to Barnes and Nobles was $63.44. And I'm gonna leave the total somewhere on the bottom here because I can't really do math very well off the top of my head. Now, which is, now that I look at it, it's almost a hundred bucks for five puzzle sets. Yeah, that is a lot than I tip, that's actually not just a lot, that's way more than I would tip, typically spend on five puzzles. But again, as I said early on, you know, this came out of my YouTube check and, you know, I figured what better way than to spend my YouTube money on some more puzzle sets to show to you guys. So I'm going to say it for the millionth time. Thank you all so much for all of your support and for making the shopping trip once again possible. And be on the lookout now because part two of this shopping trip 
is going to be coming soon. And if it's already come out after you've watched this video, I'm going to make sure leave, to leave a link to it down below so that you can go right to it. But anyways, guys, I really need to get on to actually working on puzzles instead of buying them all the time, but that's okay. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'm going to see you in the next one.